Hello everybody, it's Farm Sim Guy here. Hope you're all doing well. We have made it to Peace River. That's right, uh, Camille released uh, an updated version of the map the other day, fixing some of those initial bugs that you always get with a new map, and he's uh, done a cracking job of it, so I thought it was time to spend a bit of time on here. Now, obviously, uh, just passing 20,000 subs, I thought it was time to maybe start a new series. I don't know where I'm going to take this yet. I've got a few ideas I might incorporate. I've got potentially uh, a few things coming down the line, but to start with, I thought we'd just kick it off and... Uh, just get a video out um, and talk to you about a few things. We're at home at the moment, we're in the farmhouse. I'll show you which farm we have uh, in a little minute, but first and foremost, we better get a coffee and get the day started. So uh, we'll drink this and uh, we will be back very shortly. Okay, coffee done. Um, it's actually relatively warm today uh, for Peace River stands at this time of year, 43 degrees with a high of maybe 50. Um, we'll jump in the truck and I'll give you a quick tour of the farm. Um, we are on the main, let's just jump up to the map actually, and I'll just give you a little bit of an idea of where we are. We are at the big farm up here. Uh, we own fields 18, 17, 16, 15, 45, number three, and the big field seven there, as well as field nine underneath. So we've got quite a big farm, but even then, you barely scratch the surface of this map because it's so big. Now we've got a bit of a trek down to the cell points and the shop and the uh, commercial area down here. So uh, we'll probably set up some decent auto drive routes at some point. But for now, um, we've got a few jobs to do to get started. But I wanted to give you a little bit of a lap of the farm. And now we have got some kit already prepped for our first day. And as you can see here, as we're in Canada, it would be remiss of us not to crack open the brilliant new Versatiles that came out this week in the Mod Hub. Uh, so top work from BH Bueller, Cal Farms and KMN, who've done a cracking job with these. Um, so we've got a couple of the wheeled versions, obviously with trips, because that's what you've got to do, isn't it? And a couple of, with the tracks, with the new fantastic 3D tracks on there, the wide versions, the camsos. Um, and we've got ourselves four matching flexicoils here. This is a slightly modded version, uh, which you can change the colours on, uh, which is quite nice. So uh, that's what we've got there. We've got the uh, uh, big shed over here, which is where the versatiles came from. Um, we've got so much grain storage space here. This is very much an arable-only farm. I'm not probably going to do uh, animals on this map, but as with everything, we shall see. Maybe I'll change my mind. Um, but we'll run down to the bottom because there's something else I want to show you. We've got a lot of kit due to arrive in the next few days. This is a big new operation and we have got some budget behind us to uh, help us get set up. But uh, to start with, um, we thought we'd get the kit that we need to get things going. Obviously, always slightly concerned about what the weather's potentially going to do. Um, we have got uh, snow forecast, so I need to be careful that we don't uh, we don't get behind because we are playing Seasons. Uh, we have kept the Seasons version of the map. Felt it was a bit of a cop-out to uh, uh, ditch Seasons, but let me just pop in here, and without giving the game away, I'll pop the main door here, and I'll show you the size of kit that we're going to be working with. We've got the uh, Fent 1100 here to help us out, a really meaty, grunty tractor. So we'll use that. Uh, as and when we need to, but we have got the biggest cedars in game. We've got the massive Borghult 3420 cedars, three of those, and the air carts to match. So, um, yeah, we've got some serious planting to do. Like I said when I did my map review, um, the size of these fields is absolutely colossal. We dropped these sheds in. These weren't uh, in the original game map and farm and in here we have got uh, three beautiful t9s another kmn modding brilliant tractor gotta love this again upgraded with the uh, 3d tracks and it's so good to see all these big track tractors now with 3d tracks it really sets them off it really does and behind them we've got the uh, anhydrous setup so there's the toolbar and forward eggs, classic CC7500, but I've put the the frames in blue to match the John Deere. 
and the uh, toolbars. So uh, expect to see them out in the fields in the not too distant future. Let me just shut the back door. We don't want a, a breeze running through here if the weather does turn. So there you go. We'll see those in a not too distant future. So there we go. That's what we've got on the farm so far. Obviously you can see all the storage bins. There's the grain dryer. Uh, there's our refill points over there, which are brilliant. Um, and again, tons more storage down here. So we are not short of storage. And to be honest, I think we're going to need it. I mean, this farm, like I said, is colossal. So um, it's going to be a challenge for one man. I think you're going to see some automation in this uh, in this series, like I said at the moment. Not planned beyond this first episode yet. So would be delighted to hear from you guys how you want me to play it, how we, what you want to see happening here, and uh, how we want to do something and mix it up uh, and make it a bit different to other stuff we've done. So, first things first, I think, because it's a new map, because it's a new series, it's all about going big or going home, right? So let's throw ourselves straight into Field 7. Um, I haven't bought 61 yet, but maybe we can look on that in the future. But for now, we'll go straight into Field 7, and we are going to do probably the biggest course play uh, setup that I've done in a few weeks, actually. I genuinely have been... Uh, Pretty basic with my setups for my uh, new series, running one or two tractors only. I have not run four pieces of equipment in one field for a long time. So we'll go and try and emulate some of Argsy's uh, magic that he's done on uh, Western Australia over the last few weeks and see if we can uh, get our course play game on because, to be honest, I'm probably a little bit rusty. So what we'll do, we'll run all four of these just over the road here the fields have all been harvested and are ready for um what we're going to do next so um we can just turn these under i'm going to cultivate all of these and then we can hopefully get on with planting as long as we're uh, within the window for planting so we'll see what happens there um i love this green lush grass on this map actually really nice really nice okay let's get these lined up now let's be honest, we couldn't not use versatile tractors, could we, for a big Canadian map. Obviously the factory for this tractor and this company is up there in Winnipeg in Manitoba, so um, we had to. We had to do our first episode with some versatiles, didn't we? It was the only way it was going to happen. So, um, we've got a little bit of follow me going on here. So you've got two of them and the third tract tractor is coming along at the end there. But let's get these into the field and then we'll uh, talk you through the course play setup. Okay, everything's here now. Uh, now, I did pick uh, two tractors with wheels and two with tracks, just for a bit of fun, really. I think they're pretty much identical other than that, so we shouldn't have any problems with uh, different speeds or anything for them, and they're all using the same uh, implement behind them, so again, shouldn't be a huge problem. As you can see, uh, the, the, the circle of doom is there because this field is so big you can't see that far down the road again something I'm really hoping for in FS22 is that we get uh, much less of this kind of rapid uh, degrading of the uh, graphics and we see something a lot more subtle that's uh, that's my dream anyway and uh, from what I've heard so far in some of the uh, technical advancements it looks like we're going to get something um, a little bit better than what we've got at the moment, which is going to be an awesome upgrade, to be honest. Um, but anyway, I, I'm talking too much. Let's jump into this. So let's create a course. So we're going to jump into field work here. Let's do course generation. We are on field seven, so we'll select that. We are only going to do one headland. And the reason for that is we are going to use four tools. So that's going to be, in essence, four headlands in a row. We'll probably not skip rows because of the four multiple tools we're going to be using um, we're going to go clockwise which is fine we're going to start working on we will do the headlands first i think at this point um, and the corners will leave them as smooth as well so actually this is looking pretty good let's do a generate course on this and there you go that just shows you the size of the machines we've got we're running here one border and then we're only going to go up and down six and a half times that's awesome uh, i can't wait to get this started could be good to fun indeed 
So what I'll do, I will save that course, field 7, cultivate. Uh, we're going to start at the first waypoint, um, and this is going to be, we've got to set some of our settings here, so this would be, I'm going to start him off as one left, uh, the next one's going to be two left, and then we're going to have one right and two right. Um, in fact, we'll go two left with him, and then one left, then one right, then two right. That should give us our four. Um, we are going to do a bit of a convoy, but we'll drop it down to around about 30 meters so they can run together. Um, start at first waypoint. I think everything else is as we want it. Okay. I'm going to hit drive course and see what he does. I'm going to give him a little bit of space and then I may stop him while we get the other tractor set up because I would like to see them running quite close together. Helps me uh, get clips and footage. Nice, nice uh, montages for you guys. Okay, let's see if I've done this right, if he's in the right space. Oh, I forget how big this implement is. Okay. Unfolded. Is he going to join the edge of the field, or have I put this in the wrong place? I think he is. He is doing what he was supposed to. And I love this uh, ground texture as well that Camille's put in. Really nice. Really nice. Okay. Um, so that's great. That's positive. So let's stop him there. Let's go back to our second tractor and get this set up and we'll work through our way through all of these. I'll show you this one and then we will uh, we will leave the other two uh, and uh, we'll get those set up and we'll get all four running. Okay, we've just pulled this onto the field here. Everything is the same as before. We have set the uh, vehicle convoy to 30 meters and we have gone up to here and we've set it as one left. If he was two left, this is one left which will go next to him and then we'd have one right and two right so um, everything is looking good there we'll just hit drive course we'll let him get into place just check that he's going to go where he's supposed to there we go he's unfolding and we want him to just to run Hopefully, because the other, this one's turned off, um, vehicle convoy only works when uh, they are running all on course play, so he won't recognise that he's there at the moment, so I'm going to have to manually stop him before he gets there. But that's good, so we can stop them right next to each other. But that looks like it's lined up perfectly, so that's good. So let's stop him, uh, and we'll follow the same process for the other tractors and get them ready and then I will come back and we'll get things going. Well folks, there you have it. All set up, four tractors, all running in tandem. All we need to do now is fire them up and get them going in this field. I don't know how long it's going to take. We'll soon find out though. So, enjoy the little montage.
Well, there we go, folks. We are running four in tandem. We have still got over another 45 minutes to finish this field. Uh, and as you can see, we're not hanging around here. This is one humongous field. So I'm going to leave it there. I know it's been a relatively short episode in terms of what we've covered off. But like I said, just a marker in the ground, a start, an idea for just how colossal this map is and how are we going to approach it that isn't going to make it just impossible to run as a single player so i am all ears let me know what you think guys i hope you're enjoying it um love playing with these versatiles brilliant tractors what a great job and hats off to camille again for this map it is mind-boggling how big it is so from me the farm sim guy all the way from canada thank you very very much for watching and i will see you all again very very soon bye for now